Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you how to use the brand new georeference tool that we're introducing in Capture 3.5. Watch the rest of the video to figure out how it works. So what I've got loaded up is a capture scene with a couple scans that I've already done and now I'm back on capture and first what we need to do is add our GNSS receiver. So to do that I'm going to hit the hamburger menu here and I'm going to scroll down to add GNSS setup. Now for this I'm going to use a base rover setup so I'll change this from GNSS and trip to base and rover and I've got two R4 SLEs running, so I'll set my base and I'll set my rover, and I'll hit that check mark to uh, confirm my settings, and then I'll go ahead and hit next. So it's connected to the, my base receiver, that's connected, uh, that's attached to the top of my car, and I've just connected to my rover, and now it's going to connect the rover to the base. Okay, and now I'll enter my rover target settings. Uh, this is just on a standard 2 meter pulse. We'll go ahead and hit next. And now I'm going to take my initial position. Um, so for me, I'm going to use one, uh, two, three, and four control points. Um, now ideally these are four control points that are on the perimeter of your scene. But for this, uh, just for simplicity's sake, I'm just going to use those four control points that I have that I know that are in my scene. Uh, so my first point right here, I'll hit next. And it's going to wait that uh, control point 10 second average. And now I'm going to move to my next control point. Level my rover and hit next. And then I'm going to go ahead and take one more control point. And again, level up my rover. I'm going to change this over from single shot to control point. And take one more control point. So now I've got all my control points taken in capture. Uh, the next thing to do is hop on over to the X7 scanner module and capture and get scanning and take those same four control points in our scan module. So to get back into the X7 scan module, I'm going to hit the icon up in the top right that looks like our GNSS receiver. I'm going to change that from GNSS to scanner. If you haven't taken any scans, you'll have to go into the hamburger menu here and scroll down to add X7 scanner setup. And that will allow you to hop back into our X7 scan module. So I'll hit this play button next to the launch perspective. And like I said before, the scene already has some scans done already. However, I need to do one more scan so that I can use that scan to uh, mark my precision points. 
So we'll leave this on four minute scans. And we're right here near three. So we'll go ahead and register it to three just because uh, I know that's what we want to register it to. And I'm going to go ahead and hit start scan. And we'll come back when this is finished scanning. So I've got the fourth scan loaded up and registered in our X7 scan module. So next what you want to do is hit the annotations button on the right side there. And I'll pull up our list of annotations. I haven't created any yet, so it should be empty. And I'm going to go ahead and create a new annotation. Now for the georeference workflow, um, I recommend using the point type precision point. And then I'm going to go ahead and turn the laser pointer on. And I'm going to aim that at our first control point. So to do that, I'm going to zoom in and find where that cross is. And I'm going to tap that scan point button at the bottom of your screen. And it's going to scan that very small area uh, around the laser pointer. Now I'm going to double check and make sure I have use for geo reference check marked. I'm going to name our point. It's going to be control point one. And I'm going to hit create point. And now I've got my first ground control point marked in capture perspective. So I've got three ground control points in our uh, X7 scan module. I've got four ground control points in capture. Uh, so next what I need to do is actually do a georeference. So I'm gonna tap the hamburger menu up on the top left and you'll see this button, georeference project. I'm gonna tap on that and it's gonna ask me to uh, refine my registration before I do that anything. So I'm gonna go ahead and refine my registration. This will only take a minute or two. All right, and my registration uh, report will pop up when it's done refining. Go ahead and save that. Now what it's gonna ask is uh, whether or not you want to be auto-matched with the points that were passed over from capture. I'm gonna go ahead and hit match. And it's computed the matches here, and you can see uh, our overall errors are pretty low. And I'm going to give a visual confirmation, make sure I'm okay with all this. We're a couple millimeters off there. But overall, I'm pretty happy with this. So I'll go ahead and hit apply. So any points. Uh, that you've measured in capture that are either labeled ground control point GCP or control point CP will automatically be passed over to uh, perspective here. So all that's left is to go to the hamburger menu here and export everything back to capture. Thanks for watching guys and we'll see you in the next one.